It looks like I am live. I believe I'm live. So if you can hear me okay, please let me know in the comments below. Show me an emoji. I might be chewing a little bit over the next hour or so because I'm still, I still have a couple of mini tacos left since my lunch. And yeah, I'm having a late lunch, Jessica. <laughs> um, I also just burped a little bit. So I apologize for that. Welcome to my plan with me. I'm going to be planning my week out in my bullet journal, etc., etc. The week of what? The 16th through the something or another. 16th through the 22nd, question mark, is what it looks like. So that's what we're going to be doing. Hi, everybody. I'm noticing a lot of you guys are talking about potentially having, um, having your governor's do like more restrictions. I'm curious to see what happens with Napa. Allegedly, we are dropping a um, a tier in the California system. Like we have had an uptick in cases, as has everybody, it looks like. But I have not heard yet what that's going to impact except for businesses. All right. So before I do my week, I want to kind of go over this week. I have my power sheets out and that's not really what I'm going to do yet. So so here's this week. Remember how I said I couldn't remember what I wanted to do? It was decorate the house. Um, and I haven't done that yet. We're going to do that after I'm done with this stream. So the stream's probably only going to be about an hour long because I want to get Christmas decorations up because this is the only week we have our kids. So the only weekend in November, there were two weekends. The past two weekends, they've been at their dad's because we did a little bit of a custody switcheroo because Russell had to go out of town for something. And then the next two weeks, they're going to be at their dad's because it's the Thanksgiving break. And the way our custody works is that we do week on, week off, except in the holiday season, one house gets the week off from school for Christmas or Thanksgiving break plus one adjacent week. And the other house gets the two weeks during winter break of... Christmas and Kat's birthday. And this year we have the kids for Christmas and Kat's birthday. So Russell has them for the two weeks in November. That was a lot of words. Um, hi, everybody. New Mexico is shut down starting tomorrow. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I didn't notice any toilet paper out of stock when I went grocery shopping this week. But I'm imagining if shit starts getting locked down again that it's going to go bye bye. Uh, Jessica asks, how was Zoom's giving? Zoom's giving was phenomenal, you guys. Now, when I say, hold on, let me check off the Hangout. I did that already, and now we're in the live plan with me. We've been running laundry, and Jesse went and picked up my windshield wipers, thankfully, which I know was on my month task list, so I should check that off. New windshield wipers, because, my dude, I discovered when it rained on Friday that my windshield wipers were garbo, and they needed to be replaced. I've not cleaned the kitchen yet, though. I need to do that and some other stuff. So we're good for now. Okay. Anyway. Um, also, my nose is running. As. As. Uh, you do grocery services and it's getting frustrated because people are hoarding again. Oh man. Yeah. No, Zoom's giving worked really well. If any of you guys are going to do sort of holiday stuff over Zoom rather than with your families, we did it yesterday and it was really, it was, Jesse said, told me, he was like, I thought it was going to be weak, but it was actually really good. It felt so good to be able to talk to like my extended family for a while. It just, it felt good. So that, that's a bonus. Anyway, so I already filled in my habit tracker for yesterday and such. And so what I need to do is check out my goals for this month and my power sheets, which is a weekly kind of process I do because all of my daily shit is um, in my bullet journal. So declutter some bullshit. I didn't do that last week, but I did that this week. I decluttered my, um, my linen closet. And let's check. Did I maintain 50% of my habits? So... To do 50%, I need to get 32 spots filled in for the week, right? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stretching has been the habit that I have not done at all. This is all 7s. So that's 17, 24, 31, 
So it's more than 32. We're good to go. Look at that. These middle healthy ones carrying the day. So did maintain 50% of my habits this week. Hell yeah. And then I already figured out most of Vlogmas. So I'm actually going to color most of this in. I have done the majority of that so far, but I have not. I have a little bit left to do. Um, Christmas gifts, put up Christmas decor. So that, some of that's going to be happening today. So for now, we've got that colored in. Look at that. I'm making progress in my power sheets, even if only a little bit. Aren't you impressed? You should be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, dude, I, my sister keeps telling me I need to get a bidet. She has one and she swears by it. RJ used it and it horrified him. So what? Huh? It's bad. RJ did not care for the bidet. Um, all right. Oh, you recommend Peloton stretching classes? Huh. Anyway. Chicago's under a stay-at-home advisory. Wow. Okay. So, so this was the week. I did like foresty doodles here and then just made gigantic lettering here because why the fuck not? So this week, I don't know if I'm going to do the same kind of doodles or not. I have no plan. You think I would come into this with a plan? I don't have a plan. I do kind of like how it looks with the offset boxes, though. I kind of want to do that again. What do you think? Do you like my offset boxes, cat? Yes, no, maybe so. Cat's chomping on a mini taco as well, so Cat can't give me feedback until they're done chewing. Thank you for being polite. Um, they're not even. I didn't count very well. <laughs> uh, maybe if the outlines were a little cleaner. I don't want them to be clean though. I'm doing scrimbly bimbly outlines. Mm. Not your thing? Then maybe <laughs> don't add the shadow. Maybe don't add the shadow? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's draw something in here. I will say, though, using this Alistair method has been really handy. I really like it. So I will say that that is most definitely going to stick around. Although this situation here may not be whatever. Blood pressure should have, it should have been, Jessica, because as you can see, like, I'm not super great at remembering to do it. This weekend, I didn't even, like, bother. So, all right. So, anybody have tips for moving into your first house? Oh, Beck. Um, one tip is don't underestimate how much money you're going to need to spend right off the bat in terms of buying things like, you know, toilet brushes and like house cleaners and shit. Don't buy all the things you think you need up front. You can buy them as you need them, but know that like outfitting a house for the first time, if you are moving from like a roommate situation or whatever, you will spend money on more. It is a lot, it adds up really quickly. A lot of small purchases for your house, not counting things like furniture, not counting things like, I'm just talking about the little things like condiments and and bathroom scrubber and salt. salt. Yeah, like things, little things you don't even think about because generally they're just in your house all the time. That adds up. So don't, don't be surprised by that. All righty. Oh boy, do I have tips. Looks like Deanna's got some shit. <laughs> yes, paint before you move in if you have to paint. Do it before you move in. It's so much easier than um, painting with your shit in the house. Also, um, plungers. And if you have more than one bathroom, don't be cheap. Buy a plunger for each bathroom. <laughs> the last thing you want is to have to run through the house to grab a plunger because you flooded the, you like pooped and the poop backed the one toilet up, but your plunger's in the other bathroom. They're gross. You don't want to run through the house with a gross plunger. Just buy a plunger for each bathroom. No, but like I was already at like 70. 
All right, so. I'm going to eat a mini taco. This is my mini tacos. I'm going to eat one of these while I'm drawing my boxes in. I'm just sort of tracing these boxes through the paper. <laughs> what? I just like swiped the laptop right out from under under. Oh no, is he a sad man? All right. They are beef mini tacos. They are um, the Trader Joe's beef mini tacos. So it's got like shredded beef and um, I don't know, something, some, some sort of salsa-y situation. I don't know. Tomatillos, question mark. I am not really sure what's in them. You get them at Trader Joe's for $3.99 or something. Maybe it's $4.29 now. I don't know. And you cook them in the oven for like eight minutes and they are filling. Oh my God, my eye itches. Holy shit. I, allergies, man. Huh? Which cat was being super loud earlier? Probably Loki. It was Loki. I don't know what he wanted, but Loki's generally the loud one. Except every once in a while when Lucy goes storming through the house looking for people and he can't find them. So he starts going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's what he sounds like. Am I right? I think I'm right. That is what he sounds like. Oh, 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 oh. And there's also the little clicks. He goes like, yeah, his little, um... his little mouth clicks. I'm so immensely amused by the time that he spent like seven minutes trying to stick his paws under my door. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, you guys have so much good information. Oh, you want me to try folding my paper the other way, Carrie? Sure. Why not? I don't. Hi, Loki. There we go. We're going to fold it this way, Carrie, just for you. Loki, he's you're on his lap. No, he's standing above my computer keyboard, making it impossible for me to do things. Mm. Oh. oh my god, my eye itches. I have not tried the toilet wand. Oh my god. I kind of want to though. No, I don't generally be so Magical Trevor. Magical house. Yeah. Um. Yes, Jessica, though I'm having a late lunch. I slept in today, so I had a couple of glasses of wine over the course of hours yesterday during our Zooms giving, and it basically made me feel like raw bullshit, so... Um, so, uh, so I slept in today because I was feeling pretty crumb diddly umptious. That's a new word I just made up. Hell yeah. You going to use that one, cat? No. No? Why not? But yes, it was great fun. The Zooms giving was a good time. Good times were had by all. But 
I will also add that it wiped me out pretty hard. It's amazing. I didn't think it would wipe me out as much. I don't think it wiped me out as much as like if we had done our family Thanksgiving or fake. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got the burps. Our fake Thanksgiving that we normally have here. I don't think it wiped me out quite that much, but it did wipe me out enough to feel like shit this morning. So, um, so I slept in and then I had my patron hang out and this is the first chance I had to have lunch. So I'm eating lunch while I'm streaming because I'm a fucking professional. What is my opinion? What is my opinion? Anne asks, what's my opinion on the planner? Perfect travelers, notebook planners and journals and subscription boxes. I, You started saying raw bullshit. That's awesome. I actually don't have an opinion. I know a lot of people are like looking at the, uh, they're looking at the uh, planner perfect situation. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. Very distracted. Um, anyway, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Boom. Hey. Um, the, uh, the planner perfect situation I have seen, I have heard about, and mostly from watching other people's videos. Like I know that uh, Sam at Happily a Housewife is super into their like sc her scripting method or whatever. I followed Planner Perfect for years now, but I've never, her kind of style of like planners and shit, like Traveler's Notebooks were never really something I was into. And I, I don't really know enough about her scripting process to like, really get it so i don't really have an opinion i should look more into it but yeah it's not been something that i've like you know had like a big old like planner boner for or whatever you fit you fit into your pre-pregnancy leggings good times that is a win All right, so. Um, I kind of want to do some scrimbly bimbly here. So let's do that. Look at that. Doing a little, a little, a little lettering. I'm using the 0.3 tip of the Klenna here. So the way I've been doing it lately with my um, with my bullet journal is I use the 0.5 tip for like the main stuff. And then for the task list, I use the 0.3 because this isn't big enough to use the 0.5. I need to make it smaller. But I'm using this th the 0.3 here because I feel like it'll be a little bit more obviously legible doing this style of lettering if I use a smaller tip. You're almost done with your Morse code quilt. That sounds so cool, dude. I really want to see pictures of that when you're done, Mary. Um, the paper from the Planner Perfect is amazing. Let me know what you think about her stuff. Because I've followed her, like literally have been following her for actual years now. Like, I don't remember how I came across her. But I've been following her for years. I think I was fascinated by the fact that she's got like a million kids. I always get fascinated by people with gigantic families. Mm -hmm. 
So this week is going to be a busy one. I have a bunch of work to keep doing for Kristen. I have, and I'm planning on re-releasing some stuff into the Etsy shop. Um, the Some of the prints that have sold out. And I'm restocking the postcards. And I've got some new new stickers and bookmarks. A, li- a very, very limited run of bookmarks that are supposed to get delivered today, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, I need to get that shit, like figured out like not figured out it's all ordered i and all mostly arrived i need to finish like uh sorting and you know what i mean like it's a big giant box of postcards that i need to organize that it takes a little while but i need to do that this week because i want to be able to open the shop up around black friday because that's just like the traditional commencement of of consumerism right so i have a lot to do this week and i have the kids and i know i have at least one meeting we're doing like a full parental all four parents meeting this week with cat's therapist just to discuss some things and um some other meetings too. I've got a lot. Like I looked at my calendar in terms of like appointments this week. I don't think I have a kidney doctor appointment this week. I have some doctor appointment this week. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember which one though. If you want to see a gigantic family, check out life with beans, life with beans. I'm going to write that down. Along with the game that was recommended to me today during the hangout townsman on the phone which is supposed to be a really like calming game oh from windsor that's a car thank you aaron for the ten dollar super chat and you are from windsor that is awesome you are in my neck of the woods and i hope that's not my car jesse's out there doing some manly car shit i don't know what though changing my windshield wipers out which is good because It rained on Friday, and I quickly discovered that my windshield wipers were not up to the task. So, just replaced those, and he's doing, he had to, like, replace the battery in his car. So, yeah. Uh Uh-oh, Wendy, who did you lose? Oh, your mom. I'm so sorry. Towns, man, townsman, townsman. That's what Debbie said the game was called. All right. You're in Santa Rosa? Good times. You're also in my neck of the woods. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Do that. On each one. I'm being I'm being extra. This isn't that extra, but it's extra enough. I kind of overshot my load on the Tuesday there. It's okay though. It's okay. It's a, it's a world of happy, happy accidents. So I was thinking about, I was thinking about Vlogmas and what I'm going to do and thinking about the lessons I learned from Vlogtober and how I'm feeling right now. Right? So one thing I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to maintain these Sunday live streams, plan with me live streams. I'm going to maintain these in December, except the weekend after Christmas, because I'm going to be doing other things then. But I will maintain these. I haven't decided exactly how it's going to go yet, but I'm thinking about doing another live stream every week to make it easier on me. So it's not an additional video to edit. And one of the things I was thinking about, like, 
like Lakin does her Wednesday, um, her Wednesday like Q and A's. I don't feel the need to do a Q and A every week because I don't think I have enough answers for questions. Unless you guys want to ask me some weird philosophical shit, which I, I wouldn't be opposed to. That would be kind of a fun live stream if you ask me, you know, stuff like that. I did enjoy philosophy in high school, but no. Um, what I want is to do like various kinds of live streams. What I really want to do at some point in December is another Bob Ross tutorial where I follow along with Bob Ross because that was fucking fun. And Jesse um, wants to hang the picture I did up in our living room, and I'm still not really sure I, how I feel about that. But I would love to do at least one more Bob Ross situation. Um, there is going to be a gift guide. It'll probably be up before Vlogmas. And it's going to be a gift guide for people... People like me, could my Saturday talks be on Wednesday? That's kind of what I was thinking about doing, Jessica, was some of that, like TED Talks. Um, but again, like I said, I'm not entirely certain how I'd want to do it yet. I'm still thinking about it, but I will likely do... Um, I will likely do for weather... And for blood pressure, I will likely do some sort of secondary live stream. I do want to do another Bob Ross because I feel like that was a lot of fun. So that's definitely on the docket for Vlogmas. And then I was going to do the Highlighter Thunderdome, but I also feel like it might be difficult for me to do that in December because we have so many other things happening. So I don't know yet. It may be a January thing. Am I continuing this style in December? I am going to continue, I think, to do bullet journal only. I might not do this style of weekly. I might try something else. I love the, doing the Alistair method, but I want to experiment with different types of weekly layouts. The main reason I'm going with this is because I kind of want to give it enough tries to see if it's going to work for me, even in this smaller version. But um, I will likely, if I do, um, well, not if I do, I am planning on, this is not enough space. God damn it. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Okay. Um, Oh, my boxes are all fucking wrong. Thank you for the super chat, Sally. Um, doodle request day. That would be fun, too. That was, Lisa, that was, <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So that would be fun. The other thing I want to do in December, was something I used to do a lot more, but I haven't been doing as much lately, is I want to do um, a few videos, like tutorial videos on doing certain things. So like a doodling tutorial or a lettering or something. I haven't decided what exactly yet, but there's going to be a few of those style videos as well, as well as some kinds of vlogging. And then towards the end of the month, I know is going to be, you know, um, towards the end of the month is going to be the usual like end of, end of uh, December end of December. Oh, I'm not even going to bother whiting it out, Jessica. At this point, I don't give that much of a shit. So I'm fine with it looking a little bit wonky. It's my vibe. Wonky vibe. At the end of December, I am going to do the usual stuff that happens around planner channels in December, where it's like talking about 2021 and all that. Like I'm planning on doing a video where I talk about some of my favorite things in the 2020 year. And there's going to be another video talking about fucking regrets regretful purchases and such for 2020. So I already did something like that, but I have so many regrets that it wouldn't be that hard to do a second one. Anyway, so there's my, these things. It's looking kind of cute. Let me kind of go over these lines one more time to just kind of add that same scribbly look that my kid was not a fan of. Well, it's not their bowling journal. Me, me, me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Have I missed my Facebook group? Oh, that's something that I had totally like not even thought about talking about, but I should. So for those of you who don't know, I put my Facebook group on archive this week because the temperature was just really hot 
after the election. And there came to be a point where there was, sorry, the catheter robot cycling also. Um, yeah, I have not missed it at all, but I think it's mostly because I have been swamped with other things this week. Like part of the reason I shut it down was because it's not shut down forever. It will be back. However, part of the reason is that I have so much work that I am behind on right now that I just did not have the time to like sit and stare at no I'm just I've got my weather out here Jeez, look at the weather it's beautiful here right now isn't it though yes um I did not have the time to spend focusing on notifications in my group and it's not fair to the people that I'm asking to admin it to not have clear expectations. So I have it shut down for a bit to both let the temperature kind of cool down a little bit, but also for me to put better rules into place so that the less vague rules into place so that um, it will be a little less arbitrary as to who we're booting. Does that make sense? So yeah, so that's what, whoops. That's what, God damn it. Hot, that's an understatement. Yes. What is going on here in the comments? Any ideas on how to make a six year old stop cussing? Her parents don't believe in spankings. I'm open to suggestions. Um, yeah, swear jar might work. One of the things, that, uh, what, um, I want to make sure I pronounce it. Is it Kala Dyer says that they, you must have strong feelings for such strong language. Let's have a time in and talk about it. Yeah. Cause one of the things I said to my kids was that like, I don't want them to just drop the F-bombs in places where it's not appropriate, but that sometimes that language can feel very appropriate and that I'm more concerned with the way that they talk to people rather than whether they use arbitrary cuss words. However, when a little guy is doing it, they are not necessarily using their best judgment as to when it is to use it. So making a... You don't want them to feel that their language is bad in the sense that they are a bad person for using it, but that it is not appropriate. And that's the thing to kind of talk through. For some reason, my kids did not drop the F-bomb when they were little guys, which it really, except for the time that a uh, cat called somebody or RJ called someone a douchebag once and cat called someone a juice bag once. That seemed to be the word that they, that they got from all of it. But that never, for some reason, with as much as I cuss... I never really had that problem with my kids when they were that young. And I, I don't, it surprises me probably as much as it surprises most of you. <laughs> but I, my concern is demonizing language that's, that's kind of arbitrarily treated as bad language versus demonizing language that actually is hurtful. Do you know what I mean? The difference between the F-bomb and the N-word, you know? So it's supposed to rain again this week, and I have on my um, on my meal plan. I have soups. I have a new soup I'm trying this week. It is a lasagna soup, which I'm really excited about. You basically make all the lasagna parts with like the noodles and everything in the soup, except for the cheese, and then you mix up the cheese, the ricotta, mozzarella, and parm. You mix that up into like a mush, and then you put a big blob of that in your soup. And goddamn it, that sounds good. So that's gonna be coming this week. I will let you guys know how it is. But I consider it my sacred mission to find delicious recipes and tell everybody about them because I love food. <laughs> um, anyway, so the Facebook group. Yeah, so I've got it shut down. It's probably going to get shut down for a couple of weeks to give me time to both catch up on the work that I am so far behind on and actually get that taken care of and then give me some time to sit and really put some thought into the group because it's important to me. I have seen people treat that group 
as a place that they can talk about things like their sexual preferences and identities, their gender identities, and like talk about things that they might be scared to talk about people in their family. And I don't want that to be compromised. I want that group to, there's no such thing as a safe space on fucking Facebook, but I want that group to feel like a place people can have real conversations about who they are and the things that matter most to them and not feel vulnerable to shittiness. <laughs> so I need, I want to be really thoughtful about how I put some more structure into place so that when we come back, it is, it is really obvious what that place is supposed to be. So that's going to be worked on. But it's, like I said, I'm not, I'm not rushing it. I'm not, I'm not rushing it. I, I have other things I have to do first. So there's that. All right. So here's kind of the, the setup. I've got blood pressure, weather, and then my little box for each day and then my task list. So look at that. It's like fancy McFancy. All right. Um, you need to figure out what to do with frozen butternut squash soup. I don't actually eat butternut squash, but isn't butternut squash like supposed to be excellent in a soup? Muting people and post approval on Facebook is a great way to have control without the ban hammer. Oh, gross, Wendy. Eggplant lasagna does not sound like the business for me. No, I, I make I make meaty, delicious lasagna. Um. Anyway, so so here's this. I do want to do some doodling, some doodly doodles, and such. I need to think of what is going to last week. Just the doodly doodles were. A forest and then a bunch of large words that said what was going on did you pull did we decorate the house? that's gonna be today did you pull the christmas decorations out like i asked you to when i'm done streaming i am going to decorate the house we have to figure out where the tree's gonna go because right now the litter box is taking up where the tree went before and i kind of want to keep the litter box there we could put it here, right next to me. We just need to move this janky little ottoman. Maybe we can put the litter box up. No. Okay, we'll talk about this later. We're not going to have an argument about the litter box on stream. That would be inappropriate. I have a couple ideas. Sorry. All right. Sorry. I'm also eating a mini, a cold mini taco. Okay. I might microwave them when I'm done with this. All right. I kind of want to do some rainy doodles since there isn't like a, do you think I'm going to do my, Christina asked, I'm not judging you for waiting for your McDonald's curbside order. I got French fries on Friday and I ate them and I felt my ankles swelling up and I didn't even care. I just wanted them so bad. Um, I want to do like rainy. I kind of want to do like a, this, there's no theme. I have the only theme I have this month in my bullet journal is this kind of lettering and like scrimbly bimbliness um so what i might do is kind of a umbrella right here right except this is not the pen i want to be using i want to be using the fatter one drawing an umbrella all right mm-hmm There we go. So you have this it kind of looks like it could be Batman. Oh, it's good to see you too, Nat. No soda. Good job, man. Yeah, no, I. It's like for me with McDonald's specifically. Not so much other fast foods, but McDonald's seems to be the like number one culprit is um, the salt in the french fries just makes me feel like fucking gnarliness i can feel my fucking ankles swelling up it's like not it's not a good feeling it's a kind of a shitty feeling all right so here is my little this situation
Okay, so there's the umbrella with a really janky looking handle, but that's okay. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in some of these situations. How bad is that gonna bleed through? Oh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Hell yeah, surprise me, Lois Term. Surprise me. I'm really unsure about whether or not I... Jessica, why would I order french fries unsalted from McDonald's? The salt is the best part. Even if it makes my ankles swell up, it makes me feel like shit. I'd rather just not eat them than eat them not salted. That sounds like a waste of goddamn fries. Do I use multiple planners? Um, yes. Well, usually. Well, sort of. Not currently. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Um, Christina asked if I was going to go back to the Budget Mom Planner this year. I don't know, man. I found myself not using all of the stuff that it had. And when I started really wanting to use the bullet journal on its own, I sort of ignored it. I might hang on to it because it's undated. I can go back to it. And it seems like the kind of thing that I would really enjoy do you know what I mean? Like the kind of thing that I would really enjoy if I needed the, like, I'm going to use some of this washi tape too. Some of the Amanda Reachley, Amanda Rachley, not Amanda Reachley. She, what is she reaching for? I'm reaching for 2 million subscribers. <laughs> um, nah, I, I may hang on to it to use depending on how I'm feeling about life. But like right now, I think it's it's sitting in abandoned planner land. Planned and plan abandonment. Whoa. Plan abandonment. Um, this one. This is the one I want. I'm like hunting through my. I had all those. I set all the Amanda Rachel Washi tapes kind of to the side because I wanted to utilize them if i felt the need and i do feel the need for i feel the need for speed so actually i'm not very speedy right now i'm just sort of decorating for the fucking fun of it oh thank you donna i am feeling in a good mood but still kind of wrung out from the couple glasses of wine i had at zoom's giving yesterday so umbrella academy fans dude i have heard umbrella academy is good times i just have not watched it <laughs> oh your boston terrier maybe lightly salted that might be the way to go about it oh shit megan i hope you can find out what the pain is i'm gonna draw some different size drops for the rain i can't stand the rain Beneath my window, I can't stand the rain. No, I'm actually in a really good mood today. Um, I had a great time talking to my family yesterday during Zoom's giving. It was a lovely time. My grandma was on there. Like, I got to see my grandma on Zoom. My grandma is a 85, 84, 85-year-old lady. Um... I got to see my grandma on the Zoom. I got to see, um, maybe I'll put like a little puddle here with like a raindrop kind of going into it. Sploosh. And I got to see my family. My kid's cousin came out during our family toast with their new preferred name, which was, it, it made me feel really good to know that our family could hear something like that during a toast and have it not phase anybody because it shouldn't phase anybody. 
you know? But it just, it just was a reminder to me of how much I fucking adore my family. I have a really rad family. They are rad. And it sucked ass to not get to hug them this year. But it was wonderful to be able to see them on the Zoom. So if you haven't had a Zoom holiday yet with your family, but you're going to be having one, it might go better than you think. It certainly went better for us than what we thought might it might turn out like. I was worried it was going to be kind of a weak sister, but it wasn't. All right. Look at that. I think this is a cute little situation. What do we think? This is cute. Any leftover mashed potatoes? Uh, I didn't actually do Thanksgiving food yesterday. A lot of my family did. I did not. I love Thanksgiving food. But one of my kids is not a huge fan of Thanksgiving food. So I figured I'll make Thanksgiving food for Jesse and I on the day of Thanksgiving. And for us, we did appetizers. We did appetizers for, for, uh, for dinner. Um, and so we did roasted garlic and hella cheeses. What cheeses did we do? We had, we had, um, I kind of want to do like a bucket getting like water dripped into it. We had Havarti with dill, which is one of my favorites. And then we had some regular like cheddar, but then we also had, um, a four-year-old. How was that, Jess? I never ate any of that. that was the cheddar that was on the same plate as the Havarti with dill. The little, like, cubed-up cheddar, not the slices of cheddar. I'm not sure if I had any of it either, which means it must have been pretty fucking good. Yeah, it was the four... It's Trader Joe's four-year-old cheddar. So... That cheddar apparently was good. And then we did brie... And Borson, which is goddamn delicious. If you've never had Borson cheese, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's like an herby, spreadable kind of cheese. It's really good in mashed potatoes, but it's also really good if you roast garlic and you have the Borson and the roasted garlic on like a piece of baguette. Hella bomb. So we had all those delicious cheeses. We had some carrots and ranch. We had... Um, apples and crackers and baguettes. And then I made some appetizers from Trader Joe's. There was a, um, there was a little mini quiches. I think there was like mushroom and Swiss cheese was one of them. And then the other one was bacon and, un and caramelized onions, little tiny quiches. Uh, we did tempura shrimp from Trader Joe's in the freezer and, uh, these Hasselback potatoes that are like sliced up potatoes with salt and I put some shredded cheese on those. Those were really good. And then, um, oh, Trader Joe's has uh, the little cheese breads like what you get at the Brazilian steakhouse. You can get them in the freezer. Those were really good. So we had a whole bunch of just appetizers and it was yummy. You're moving in the next couple weeks. Good luck with that. So is Beck. Or um, I don't know if Beck is moving in the next couple weeks, but Beck was talking about moving. Okay, so this will be an umbrella. And then this will be another umbrella. It's a, kind of a janky looking umbrella, but whatever. No. What I'm writing here is no more fires, question mark, because that's the best part of what this rain might be heralding is the end of fire season because God damn it. I'm ready for that to be done. Am I right, Jess? 
Jess, the best part of the rain coming this week is hopefully the end of fire season. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. I don't think it means that necessarily, but it sure helps. Well, that's why I'm putting question mark, not no more fires, exclamation point. That would be determining there will be no more fires, and I am not a meteorologist. So instead, it'll be no more fires, question mark. At least for this year, question mark again. Look at it. Yeah, Jane, it's very similar. It's like Borson's not like it's not cream cheese, but it's it's a little bit more crumbly than that. But it's a very creamy like I think it's goat cheese. But yeah, it's really good in mashed potatoes. Because it's garlicky, cheesy herbiness. But yeah, I will be doing just a little turkey breast for me and Jess and mashed potatoes and shit when regular Thanksgiving is here. But the kids will be at Russell's for that, so. No more fires, question mark? Okay. Okay. And I'll add some of that gray to this. It's the same grays I've been using all month. If there's any theme I have had this month, it is that I am using the same, um, the same Tombos. The more is on purpose, you guys. <laughs> I just like using this version of it. Yes, I can spell more. I know how. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the comments. Yeah. No, this is fine. This is, I meant to do it this way, I swear. And if I didn't mean to do it this way, if I fucked it up, I would tell you I meant to do it this way anyway to save face. But I swear, I meant to do it that way. No more fires. <laughs> Roasted onions and red pepper pureed with borson and served on crackers or baguettes is one of the best. That does sound really good. Loki, what's up? I don't know where Jesse is. Hi. Come here, friend. Come here, friend. Why don't you come onto my desk? Why don't you just let people see you? Why don't you let people see you? Why don't you let people see you, kitty man? Oh, that's a whole kitty face. Here, hold on. Let's let's put on the other camera. Let's put on the other camera so they can see you. Look at a kitty. He is so unhappy right now. He does not like this. You don't like this, do you? You don't like this, do you, buddy? Mwah. I love you. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we've got a decorated spread. I feel like I should put a little bit of this washi tape on this page, too, to kind of maintain continuity. Where the hell did I put the one that I was... What the fuck? I have this one, but I'm missing one. Where'd it go? I lost one, Jesse. Oh, no, Loki was just crying for you. You went away. Yeah. Hi, Loki. It's because you're his human. How old is Loki? Nine? Question mark? Almost 10? Yeah, he's almost 10. Almost 10. Oh, he's an old man. He's an he's old not, kitty man. He's not old at all. He's he certainly old. doesn't sound old. He doesn't. He sounds like a whippersnapper. Bubba's about to turn 22. I can't believe he's still around. Like, I don't want to put, like, a pox on the house of, of, of Bubba, but, like, damn, son. 
It's our neighbor's cat. He's a Maine Coon, and he's an outdoor cat. Like, of all fucking things, he's an outdoor cat who's 22 goddamn years old. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry you I'm sorry you've had a rough week, Kai, but I'm glad Loki made your day. He's a I'm not a cat person, Lisa. You guys can all kiss my ass. I am not a cat person. Um But yeah. Loki is just about he turns 10 in January and Lulu is now almost a year and a half old, right? Yeah, Lucy is almost a year and a half old. So, we have an a big kitty man and a and a little kitty man. For those of you who don't know, Lu Lucy is, in fact, a dude kitty. We just call him, his name is Lucy. His name was originally Lucius Mialfoy, but because of our upsetness with J.K. Rowling's transphobic bullshittery, we've renamed him to Lucy Diamond after the Beatles song, even though the kids and I wanted Lucy to be named Lucifer in the first place. So I feel like... That is his spiritual name. We are not inviting the devil. We are inviting the cat from Cinderella, who is also the devil, but in a funny way. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so we have this. I'm going to put some, some, some events in that I know about this week, and then I will migrate over my task list. But then I got to I got to like hustle because I got to get off of here and start decorating for Christmas cuz I did get all of your boxes out. Thank you. And then I have four. Holy shit. Okay, so Oh, one thing I do have to put in here of note is that my Imperfect Foods shopping window is different this week. No, I think there's Imperfect Foods on... I don't know. I got to, like, clarify it because of the holiday. So I'm going to have to put it here, too. Question mark. Because, um... Because... Uh, of the holiday, it's going to be delivered differently, but I got to like figure it out. So kids at school, 8 a.m. And then kids. Kids are back to back to dads. And then we have a meeting. Oh, Jess, that meeting is 12 p.m. on Friday. And then, uh, I'm assuming so. Okay. And then Sunday, we oh, wash sheets. And then Sunday, we have a hangout with my patrons. And then this situation. Again, same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we got all my events. No list this week on my notepad? No, Jessica. Um, actually, the fun part about doing it in the bullet journal is that I have all my events on my Google Calendar, and my task list just keeps getting moved, migrated, and then I just blob more into it. I have found one fun thing about my planning style now that I'm using the bullet journal like this is that I have streamlined it. With my two planner system, I feel like there were steps that I had to take to make that system work. And streamlining into a bullet journal is streamlining more than just my number of books, but also how I'm doing things. It actually sounds like a good video idea that I should write down so I don't forget. Um, because I feel like there's more to be learned from this. What is it? How, Bujo stream lined moi. Okay.
okay, that's not exactly the most clear info, but it'll, it'll make sense to me. So is there savings with imperfect food? Uh, there is some savings, but what I find is the most helpful about it is that I save a little bit in terms of the cost of the food versus the cost in the grocery store, but I save more because I'm not buying as much willy nilly. It helps me be a little bit more mindful with the stuff I'm getting for food every week. Um, the way I made all my pages gray makes it look like I use pencil. That is super interesting. Kind of like graphite. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's pens. My mo, my, my mo, whatever's that even work. No, Thanksgiving in the States is another week. Thanksgiving is the week, is a week from this coming up Thursday in the United States. Lucifer like Tom Ellis. God damn it. He is hot. He is hot. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm not migrating my tasks over yet, mostly because I want to get on the, uh, I want to get on the um, Christmas decoration. And there are actually a handful of things that I, whoops, this week, there's a handful of things here that I was hoping to get done today as I'm decorating. So I don't want to migrate everything over yet because there might be stuff that doesn't get migrated. So I will do that tomorrow morning when I start my week off. Um, I am considering doing another plan as you go month sometime in the beginning of 2021. So it may be January, more likely would be February because February is a shorter month. Um, but we shall see. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like this on your way out the door because people love to dislike my live streams because I am a hot goddamn mess. Oh, by the way, I have a quote I need to remember and write down because it's going to be my power sheets next month. I guarantee it. It is from the... You're Wrong About podcast, where they have been doing the series on Princess Diana. And one of the hosts said that it is entirely possible to be a hot mess express and still leave the world better than you found it in regards to Diana. And I felt that quote with every inch of my being. My hope, my hope is that when I die and I'm eulogized, people would feel confident saying that it is possible to be a hot mess express and leave the world better than you found it. I just want to mention that. I will be bringing that up again. That might be my quote for 2021. Who knows? Anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands, wear a mask, subscribe, like this video. Just do all of the things you know are right in your heart. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hasta la vista, babies. And all of that jazz.